What's up my piano friends? Zach Evans here. Today I'm going to show you a four step dirt simple way to improvise over the blues scale. You can learn this thing in less than a week even if you've never touched a piano before in your life and surprise your friends and family with your new improv skills. Make sure you stick around to the end for a system to get this on what I call autopilot mode where you can play it without even thinking about it. Alright, I'm ready to go. Let's get started. All right, so to make this as dirt simple as possible for you, let's start with just three notes. C, E flat, and F. Now you can play these three notes in any order over a blues progression and it's always going to sound good. Here's what it's gonna sound like. Don't worry about the left hand for now, we'll talk about that later. I'm literally just playing these three notes in any order and it always is gonna sound great. Now, we're gonna call this C position because our thumb is on the note C. But we can also play this same pattern, it's what's called G position. So if we take these same notes, we lift our hand up and just shift so our thumb is on the note G. We call this G position. We can use these three notes in any order and improvise over the blues progression. Here's what it's gonna sound like. sounds great already let me know by hitting the like button on this video but guess what it gets even better because we can play these same three notes on any c or g on the entire keyboard and it's always gonna sound good We're going to spice it up even more by adding the blue note that gives it a really jazzy bluesy feel that everybody loves but first now would be a great time to grab the cheat sheet so you don't have to remember all this stuff so click the link enter your name and email and download the cheat sheet here we'll be using it the rest of the video all right, so now let's talk about the blues notes. So as you can see on the cheat sheet, there are two types. There's the upper blues note and there's the lower blues note. So if we're in C position, the upper blues note is simply the black note above our third finger. And of course in G position, the upper blues note is again the black note above our G position notes. And we can add these in anywhere during our improvisation to give it a really bluesy sound. See how it really adds some spice, some flavor, that really blues sound to it. All right, next up we're gonna add the lower blues note to finish off your improv toolbox. But first, if you wanna get more videos like this where I really break down everything so that it's absolutely dirt simple, even if you're an adult beginner, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, so I already showed you the upper blues note, so of course we also have the lower blues note as well. So if we go back to our C position, the next note below is the lower blues note. And same thing in G position, the next black note below is the lower blues note. Now the trick to improvising using this note is to play it with our second finger. And leave our thumb hovering over this C. That way your thumb anchors your hand to this C position so that you don't lose your place. And you can snap right back into C position. And of course the same thing applies to the G position as well. We want to play the black note below with our second finger and leave our thumb hovering over this G so that we can snap back to G position whenever we want. So here's what an improv sounds like using both the upper and lower blues notes. crazy how cool this can sound when in reality it's only a few simple steps to learn now before i tell you how to get this on autopilot mode where you can literally play it without even thinking about it i got a surprise for you i literally just taught you the blues scale without you even knowing it the blues scale is just these notes look familiar so we have our c position here our upper blues note and our g position 
and that's just the blue scale. So you actually already learned the blues scale, but trust me, it's much easier to actually improvise over it if you think about it in terms of C position and G position, and then the upper and the lower blues notes. It makes it a lot easier to improvise over it because you don't have to worry about so many notes at the same time. All right, so the key to get this on autopilot mode is to drill these in with call and response exercises so that your fingers start to know the keyboard and develop a mind of their own. Now, if you want this, there are seven levels of exercises all the way from complete beginner to intermediate to expert free for you on the same page that you got your cheat sheet along with some free play along tracks to practice on your own. If you do these things consistently for a week, I absolutely guarantee you, you'll have the blues scale rock freaking solid in your fingers. Here's the link again for that. And lastly, for the left hand, I have a whole separate video on how that works. Ironically, it's actually much simpler to learn than the right hand, but there's a very specific way to learn it to get it on autopilot, and you don't want to learn it incorrectly and drill in bad habits. So here's a link to that video. Click here to watch it now, and I'll see you there. <laughs>